Is my scale broken? I'm doing everything right, but the scale hasn't changed. I cut my calories, but the scale hasn't changed. I increased my workouts, but the scale hasn't changed. I'm so frustrated, I'll never lose weight. What am I supposed to do? Broken or not, I'm just gonna throw it out. Surgery is just one tool. It's time to put the other tools in the toolbox because it's your body, your health, your life. Are you contemplating throwing that nasty scale out? You're doing everything right, and it's like you hit a wall. Nothing is moving. If you recently just had bariatric surgery, or maybe you're a couple months in, and you just noticed that your scale just stopped, you stopped losing weight, how frustrating is that? What if I told you that plateaus and stalls are beneficial to you? What? In this video, we're gonna discuss and define plateaus and stalls. What is the plateau effect? And if you stick around, I'm gonna give you some strategies on how to push through those stalls and maybe get that scale moving again. Before we do, can you do me a huge favor and unstick the like button? Thanks, I appreciate it. So let's recap really quickly our weight loss surgery dieting journey. First of all, we, most of us lose a lot of weight, significant amount, then we taper off. Some of us plateau, but we work through that plateau. We start losing again. Then a lot of us hit another plateau, but that plateau is different. It sticks around. We do everything right and it just doesn't move. And it goes on and on and on. Then we get angry and then we quit. So let's talk about set point. I think a lot of your bariatric surgeons and teams probably discussed with you when you first were contemplating surgery, but your set point is when your body just kind of settles at a certain weight and it just, it stays there. It's your body's attempt to regulate and it just gets used to a certain point. For some of us, no matter what we do, whatever we try, our metabolism isn't as high as others and we just, our body just gets stuck at a certain set point. And we can try drastic measures and it just won't move. It's important to remember that everyone is unique. Everybody's body is different. And so we all might experience different set points. It means our bodies, some of our bodies allow a bigger weight loss before we hit resistance. And for some of us, it's a smaller weight loss before we hit resistance. Our natural set point might not be what we want it to be or even what society thinks it should be, or even what our, you know, our medical professionals want it to be. Some of us will just have a naturally higher set point, and some of us will have a natural lower set point. The plateau effect is a force of nature that lessens the effectiveness of once effective measures over time. A person enters into a period where there is no improvement or actually a decrease in performance. Often when we embark on a weight loss journey, we assume it's gonna be a linear one. We think we can keep losing weight at the same rate as we did when we first started, but this simply isn't the case. So what really is a stall? What defines a stall? So just because your bathroom scale isn't moving, that number isn't moving, it doesn't mean you might be in a full-blown plateau or stall. You need to consider, are you still losing inches? Are your clothes getting looser? How are you feeling? What is your energy level? Those things all need to be taken into consideration. It's not just the number on the scale that is, is indicating that you are losing weight. You might be still at the same number, but your inches are decreased and you just feel better and things are being better in your body. Most dolls, some can even be longer, but most stalls are around the three week period. We kind of experience a three week stall, but just remember that they are actually beneficial because it's allowing our body time to reset before it loses weight again. So remember our weight loss plateau doesn't mean all the healthy choices we're doing, all the right things isn't working. Our body can adapt to a new lower set point, and then it can start losing weight again. I'm gonna be really honest with you because I've experienced it myself, is that significant sustainable weight loss is over time. 
yes, when we have surgery, we lose weight for some of us really quickly, but to sustain that weight loss, which I'm thinking that's what you want, is that remember it's a marathon and it's over like a year or a couple years. That is what is important. So before we go on, let me know if you're experiencing a stall. Is it your first stall? Is it your second stall? And how long is this stall been for you? Let's talk about some overall themes before we get into how to break a stall. Remember, it's normal. It's normal for all of us. We all experience it at one time or the other. Some of us, yes, it's quick. There's maybe a couple days. For some of us, it's weeks. Some of us, it's months. I know for me, I had a pretty, you know, I'm two years post-op now from being sleeved in early 2019, but I did measure my, my scale every week, but I do know that I had stalls. Um, I was pretty consistent, but there were stalls and there was even times where I gained weight. So what I told myself really early on is that I was going to record the number, but I was not going to be emotionally attached to the number because I knew from all my research and my training before going into surgery that there was going to be stalls. And I adopted what is true is knowing that your body needs that time to reset and adapt. Remember, I know when you're in the midst of it, the scale, the number on the scale is not your final determination of success. To have real success, you need all kinds of data points. You need everything to understand how successful as you're going through the journey and what kind of progress you're making. And as some of you have heard me say, and I'll say it over and over again, weight loss surgery is not about losing the weight. It has to be something bigger. It's about getting healthy. It's about reaching our goals. It's about wanting something bigger than that number on the scale. So I know, I know, everybody wants to know, how do we break and break through that stall or plateau? First of all, you have to talk about a mindset. Don't compare to others. Don't, don't compare your beginning to someone's middle or your middle to someone's end. It just doesn't compare. Remember, it's normal and natural. No healthy, sustainable weight loss, no matter how much you want it and how much you're reading and seeing in Facebook groups, no matter what, it is a marathon, not a sprint. Your journey is not linear. You're gonna have ups and downs and you're unique and your body is different from anyone else that you'll know. And remember to have the mindset when you are frustrated and you're looking at that scale and it's just not moving, don't give up, don't quit, maintain those healthy habits that you are developing and keep moving forward. So try to identify the cause for your plateau or stall. Remember, as we talked about, is it your body's way? Is it your body's natural way to adapt and reset? Or is your body going through something else and there might be another reason why you're not losing the weight. So here are some signs to consider that you're probably going through a natural set point. But remember that some of us have a smaller set point range and some of us have a higher set point range. But you've already lost some weight. You saw some, some weight loss. You're starting to feel more hungry even though you haven't changed your types of food or your portions. You're kind of feeling a little bit like you're running out of energy and maybe you're a little bit more tired than usual. You feel like a lot of your mental focus is on your weight. These are just some normal signs that you're probably, your body's just adjusting, adapting to a new set point before it moves on. If you feel like you're not losing weight because of other reasons, hormones might be a little bit out of whack and you wanna to talk to your doctor about that. Is that one of the reasons why you're just not moving forward and breaking through a plateau? Are there other medical conditions, other health issues that are keeping you set and, and not allowing you to start losing the weight again? And then medications and supplements can also cause us to keep on weight or to gain weight. So if you think you have you've are stuck in a plateau and a stall for a long period of time and you think there might be other situations, other concerns to look at, please talk to your doctor or your bariatric surgeon and kind of investigate to see if that's one of the reasons why you're not going or breaking through a plateau or stall. So one of the biggest things you can do, one of the overall biggest things you can do to break through or start, you know, getting that scale to move again is change. 
as simple as that. Just change, change up your routine, change the way you're thinking, just change. Maybe it's time, you know, with consideration with your uh, surgeon and doctor, maybe it's time to kind of change up your diet, be a little bit more flexible. Reassess your protein sources, maybe change them up. If you're eating one certain protein source, maybe change it to a different protein source. Maybe stop snacking. Are you snacking during the day between your meals? Maybe stop snacking. Maybe it's worth changing the number of meals if you can. Maybe it's possible to have more meals or maybe it's possible to have less meals but eat more within that meal time. Maybe it's worth changing up your exercise. If you're doing strength training, maybe try more cardio. If you're just doing cardio, maybe try doing more strength training. Maybe incorporate other types of exercise. Maybe change where you exercise. Maybe change the time of day when you exercise. Maybe it's worth trying eating more calories. I know that sounds a little scary for some of us. Maybe it's worth trying to eat more calories. I would never advocate restricting the calories more because you're just going to go into starvation mode and your, your body's going to really hold on to that weight. It's going to think it's starving if you restrict. But maybe it's worth trying eating a little bit more calories. I think it's super important to look at your ingredients. What are the quality of your ingredients? Because quality does matter. So if you're eating more processed food, convenience foods, maybe it's worth trying more whole foods. Because remember, you know, fluid intake, the way our body holds water can fluctuate, our weight can fluctuate during the day. So just while you're going through a plateau install, just really just kind of back off from the scale, Look at your other um, measures of data that maybe your inches, et cetera. Just kind of leave the scale for a while. Along with changing up your routine, changing it up a bit, is just kind of really assessing the following. Let's look at sleep. What is the quantity of sleep that you're experiencing? What is the quality of sleep that you're experiencing? It's really important. Sleep helps us to recover and repair. And it really, really is tied to weight loss. It's time really, if you're hitting a plateau or a stall, it's time to assess your stress level. Are you under some stress? Other than the, I get it, you're frustrated with your stall, but is there other stressful things going on in your life? Because what happens is stress increases cortisol and cortisol tells your body that you're either in fight or flight. And when it thinks it's in survival mode, flight, it will hold on to water and it'll hold on to weight. So if you possibly can, start increasing some of those self-care things, take care of yourself and try to reduce the stress in your life if all possible. Have you ever looked at your electrolytes and trace minerals? Are you deficient in those? I really encourage you to take a look at that, do some research regarding electrolytes and trace minerals and see if you are deficient or if you're possibly deficient because that could be one of the reasons for a plateau or stall. Along with electrolytes and trace minerals, really see if you're vitamin deficient. Check with your doctor, maybe it's time for some more blood work. See if anything is like deficient because that too could be a reason um, why you're holding on to weight or that you can't break through that plateau install. Another suggestion is to look at your ingredients and as you're investigating your ingredients and your foods, look for hidden sugars and hidden carbs. That could be holding, making you hold on to weight. What is your caffeine intake? Some of us after surgery or even before surgery, but even some of us after surgery, caffeine never impacted us, but now we become sensitive to it. So really check your caffeine intakes. That might be a reason why um, we're holding on to weight. Also, the thing that a lot of people don't think of looking at and assessing is your artificial sweeteners. Some of them are just bad bad things. They're just chemicals that you're inducing into your body, which, you know, is like a toxin thing going on that could be, you know, keeping you from losing weight. But some of the even the good sugar free artificial sweeteners after surgery, for whatever reason, our body reacts to them. And so are you are you having artificial sweeteners in your diet right now? What are they? And maybe it's about reducing them or changing them. Maybe it's worth just taking one full rest day. I know that's impossible for some of us, but maybe part of a day, but it's important just to turn everything off. Just, just be the best you can be for yourself for a full day. Sometimes that can kick our body into losing weight again. As simple as that sounds. 
Maybe some of us need to increase meditation or affirmations. Maybe we're just always doing the self-negative talk. Maybe we're teaching ourselves or telling ourselves, you know, we're going to quit. It's I'm frustrated. I'm not worth it. I'm not going to do this. I can't do this. That's just telling your body. It's actually increasing your stress level subconsciously, but it's just telling your body that, you know, you're not worth it or that good things aren't going to happen to you. Start talking to yourself differently. Maybe you need to include some of those positive affirmations. Maybe you need to talk to someone, but maybe it's worth kind of assessing. How are you talking to yourself? Are you possibly fighting an infection or an injury? Because in an infection or an injury, our body goes into survival mode again. It, it puts all its energy into restoring or repairing whatever is happening. Our immune system kicks in. And when that happens, we c the body just kind of goes into survival mode. And so it holds on to weight and it holds on to water um, just so that it can put all of its energy into whatever that infection is doing to our body or whatever that injury is doing to our body. Maybe it's worth assessing carbonation. What I mean by that is, are you drinking soda? First of all, you know, full sugar soda, look at those sugar carbs. Um, if it's diet soda, there's chemicals and artificial sweeteners in that, that we just talked about. So, but Carbonation in itself, carbonation, be it soda, soda or mineral water or sparkling water, carbonation for some of us can actually make us uh, plateau and stall if we have a lot of carbonation in our body. What about alcohol? If you're experiencing a plateau and stall, are you allowing alcohol? I'm, there's no judgment or shame or guilt here. I'm just saying maybe it's worth removing that alcohol for a while to see if that helps you break through, break through a plateau or stall. Alcohol makes your liver work. It's alcohol to your body is a poison. Your liver considers it a toxin or a poison. So it puts all its energy into processing that. And so other things, you know, happening in our body, digestion, all those other functions kind of get on a back burner as your body deals with the alcohol first. Assess your mental health, like what's happening other than the frustration from this plateau and stall, but how is your mental health generally? Are you getting the support you need? Do you need professional help on certain things? Do you have people, a support system surrounded around you that is like really actually supporting you and wanting you to succeed? I want to really talk about be careful about quick fixes during this time. I know you're frustrated, you're going through a stall or a plateau, but really consider not going right away to the quick fixes like the pouch resets, going back to a liquid um, diet or the liquid phase, because what's going to happen, remember, your body's going to think it's starving, you're going to be restricting calories. Yes, you might break through the plateau and stall, but what you're going to do is just force yourself into another set point pretty quickly. Really look at your lifestyle habits. Once your bariatric surgeon kind of frees you from the healing phase and allows you to kind of make a little bit more choices, or maybe you're further down um, the journey post-op, and you're just allowing some of those lifestyle habits to come back in, like possibly the alcohol, the, the sugar, the high carbs, maybe you're allowing other things like smoking. These habits, these lifestyle habits that we kind of stopped or maybe we just refrained for a very long time and we're allowing those kind of back into our life, that could be one of the reasons for a plateau or stall. As you'll hear me say in a lot of videos, like if you really are having a difficult time, um, it's, it's worth seeking professional help if you cannot manage this plateau or stall. For some of us, this frustration, this, this kind of feeling of not being able to, that you're doing everything you're possibly doing, but it's not working for you, can trigger some trauma. It can trigger some past events. So if you need professional help, always please be courageous and ask for the help that you need. You deserve it. Your health deserves it. And it's nothing to be feel bad about in any way. In my opinion, and it'll always be my opinion, asking for help is the most courageous thing you can do for yourself. If you truly are in a plateau, you're not losing inches anymore, 
you're doing everything completely right. You've tried some of these um, techniques and maybe it is worth making sure you check in with your bariatric doctor, have a really honest conversation about what's happening because maybe there's some other issues that have come up, some other, it might be medical conditions or maybe your body's going through something or maybe something happened um, post-op. You just wanna make sure you're checking in with your doctor to like, make sure that those other things aren't happening and that you can like freely go, okay, this is just a natural set point. This is a natural plateau. I'm going to be patient with myself and eventually the scale will start moving. For me personally, in my journey, this is not everybody's journey, but in my journey, I actually didn't lose significant amount of weight at the very beginning. It was very slow. Um, and I really thought, oh my God, this surgery is not working for me. But for me, Actually, the more weight later on in the journey is what is when it happened for me. I didn't lose a lot of weight at the beginning. I lost weight later on. So just know everybody's body is different. Surrender a little bit. Be patient with yourself. And just know if it isn't another medical con condition, um, it will happen for you. You will break through. You just have to be a little patient. Remember, hitting a natural weight loss plateau is actually a sign of weight loss progress. And whatever you do, just don't give up. If you want some additional help, check out these two videos, Bad Fats and Sugar Addiction. These two are definite culprits of a weight loss plateau and stall.